For many years of dependable service, it's important to have a good daily lane machine maintenance program. And there's specific areas that you're going to want to pay attention to after every use and every day that you use a machine. This will assist you in the 20, 100, and 200 mile maintenance programs when they pop up. It will not make them seem as strenuous. Now the first thing we're going to pay attention to is going to be the squeegee blade assembly. And we're going to clean this after every single use. We're going to wipe down both the top and bottom blades, paying special attention to the inside track and the intake hole where the waste is going to go up to the recovery tank. Now, from that point, we're going to move down to our drive wheels, drive shaft, and pillow blocks. We're going to wipe down anywhere inside of the side plates or the center wall that we can get to. And we're going to move down to our guide wheel rollers, floor plate, and skid plates. You'll also want to wipe down your lane-to-lane -lane casters and all of your motor covers. Now, when we get down into the oiling compartment, you're going to pay special attention to this felt pad. This is going to pick up oil that might splash back off of the brush. We're also going to wipe down the bearing blocks, the other guide wheels, and your LDS wheels. We're also going to wipe down the insides of the panel that your oil tank and cleaner tank is mounted to, your kick-up wheels, and your transport casters. Now, if you have access to compressed air, we're also going to recommend that you use compressed air on a daily basis. And that is what we would use to clean out the buffer brush. We'd simply hold out an air nozzle from 10 to 12 inches away from the machine and blow air back and forth on the brush to free loose any dust or dirt that might have accumulated there. <clears throat> on the front panel, where the spray jets protrude, we're going to wipe this down from any cleaner that might have blown back into the panel, the machine handles, and your momentary wheels. We'll also go to the other side of the machine, finish up with our drive wheels, guide wheels, floor plate, skid plate, LDS wheel, the rest of the felt, and the machine motor covers with the lane-to-lane -lane casters. From that point, we would turn the lane machine around, and we would open up the cleaning compartment. Now we can wipe down the entire lid assembly, part of the center wall, and we can also take some air and blow back through here to make sure that all the dust goes through the back side of the lane machine. When that is cleaned, we can open up our oil and electrical compartment, and you can take the machine handle and push it up there to hold those lids. Once again, we're going to wipe down all these related areas, and we're going to spray that out with compressed air. Just be careful when using the compressed air that you're not right on top of any electrical connections. We want to be about 10 or 12 or 14 inches away with the air hose. Once we're done, we'll close the lids, and we can put the machine away in storage.